It's been coming to me in my dreams and, and in my meditations and meeting people and having all these synchronicities. I'm writing a piece that has so many stories, so many people, so many lives, but it's also very much my own personal story. I used to say, I don't know who I am and I don't necessarily want to know who I am. Being a dancer and an actor and a singer was my way of feeling accepted and also, more so, my way of being able to express myself. It was this metaphysical thing. It was this opportunity to completely transform into another being. And it wasn't a bad thing, it was actually really cathartic. It really moved me into this more spiritual path. I can be whomever I want to be, and that's actually more realistic than this concept of the finite self. I got in this car accident when I was 19, and I actually died in the car accident. The doctors were like, you're never going to walk. You'll definitely not dance again. I taught myself yoga and pranayama, and it's healed me. It consistently heals me better than anything. It is my medicine. I think I bring it into my work, just that awareness of transformation and the stories I'm really drawn to are the heroic journey, you know. It, it happens and it inspires me in my life and uh, so I want to recreate those stories. Coming to a place like Salwester has been so idyllic for me. Walking through the forest and then there's the ocean right there and hearing the sound of the ocean in the distance. <sighs> it really feels like I am on the right path and, and being supported as an artist, and being held very lovingly.